Ronald Reagan is a unique individual. He's a unique politician. Ronald Reagan's era is a mixed bag. He had a good path and also some areas that need critical analysis, that need critical evaluation. But in all, we say that Ronald Reagan is great. Some people say he is underrated. Some people also say he's overrated. Let us look at those who say Reagan is underrated. Yet to some extent, Reagan is underrated. Why am I saying this? Look at what made Reagan successful. He maintained a world peace without a major war. He created regional balances. If Iran and Iraq balance each other, Israel, Egypt balance each other, Afghanistan and Russian border they balance each other, everywhere he established balances. But when Iran with that kind of mouth, threatening people. But that was his tie. But technically, he never liked war. In Lebanon, about 300 Americans were killed. Ronald Reagan did not strike. If it is today, we will say, hey, Obama, go to war. 300 Americans have been killed, go to war. If 10 Americans are killed, Obama, go to war. But nobody told Reagan to go to war when 300 people had been killed in Lebanon because he was peaceful. He was peaceful in a special way that people did not know. He left Lebanon not because he was a paper tiger, but he was shrewd. Shrewd to maintain American economy. True to make America great, because a great power should not exercise power over little, little issues, over little, little societies. A great society only fight war as the last resort. Only fight great wars, not unnecessary war, not scapegoating wars. Ronald Reagan was not a paper tiger, but he was shrewd, and as a result, was able to maintain peace in the world in his era. Let's look at what he said. According to him, peace is not absence of conflict. It is the ability to handle conflict by peaceful means. That was Ronald Reagan. That shows that he was peaceful and was able to maintain world peace. No matter how his style was, he did it. And as a result of this, Ronald Reagan was able to raise America so high to be a hegemon, as the sole superpower in the world. He did not use war but he used different strategies. I don't even think modern Republicans understand Reagan. Because Reagan has his own special way of doing things. And he prevented war at all costs. To him, war will be the last result. So peace doesn't mean there's no conflict, but the way we handle conflict by peaceful means, that was Ronald Reagan. Reagan also brought down inflation that has been caused by Nixon, which passed through Ford and passed through President Carter. Reagan was able to bring inflation down to the time of Eisenhower of 2%, which was excellent about him. Also, Reagan solved the immigration problem. For a very long time, 
No one has a passage to citizenship just like that. And Reagan was able to solve the immigration problem by giving the immigrants the right to citizenship. A passage to citizenship, which was one excellent deed of Ronald Reagan because immigrants play an important role in American economy. They do very well in American economy. They contribute. And so Reagan saw the importance of these people and he solved that problem. Also, Reagan appointed women, appointed a woman to the Supreme Court. That was wonderful about Ronald Reagan. He was very tough on children. If we had been tough on children, we would not be observing what we have been observing today among the children of today. A child can pick up a gun and go to school and kill people. Right? We got to be tough. And Ronald Reagan want everybody to be tough. Be tough on the children. So that when you give them tough love, they become good citizens. And to maintain the rich culture, to maintain the civilization of the United States of America. And Ronald Reagan did excellently in these areas. But also, when we look at it, is there any part of Reagan that wasn't too great? Let's look at it. He cut down taxes for the rich. And the idea of cutting down taxes was to make sure that the rich make more investment and hire people. But it did not happen that way. The tax cut money became like a social welfare money for the rich. It became like a safety net money for the rich and did not create jobs. Because of that, the tax cut, Reagan did not cut down expenditure because he thought with the tax cut there will be more employment. People will work and pay more taxes. So as a result, he was expecting the return to be good, but it did not turn out to be good. So he left a high debt. He created $1.8 trillion without war and added to the existing debt to be $2.8 trillion. That is one area Reagan did not do very well or he did not foresee the consequence of that task cut. Also, when you look at unemployment, from history we have known that unemployment had been very high under conservative leaders. So if Reagan had been in office for one term, his job creation numbers would have been worse and worse President Carter did excellently well compared to, to Reagan's first term. But he, he was in office only for one term and brought unemployment down to 5% level. And so we say Reagan, his first term unemployment numbers were bad, 10.8. But by the time he was leaving office, unemployment came down to 6%. 6% stood in recession level, but among all the conservatives, that was the best. Reagan was able to do that. However, unemployment numbers weren't too great, as we always see. So those who say Reagan is overrated, he's overrated when we say that Reagan created job. But looking at the numbers, it wasn't too great. So Reagan here is overrated. Then also, in his time, there was an increase of incarcerations because of being tough on crimes in the society, which is good, which is good. It led to high incarceration, which was also good. But some say he was overrated in that area because of the discrimination by the law enforcement body. 
But looking at it, looking at the good side of Reagan and the bad side of Reagan, when we say Reagan was a tough leader and he did more good than harm because he raised America so high to be a hegemon, the only sole superpower in the world. And we can use that superpower position to get everything we want. But later generation, later leaders have misused the hegemon that was established by Reagan and making the hegemonic stabilization theory a little bit useless, which is a political science theory. And uh, the way we have used the hegemon, we haven't used it very well. Reagan created the hegemony to make America great, but we are not able to handle it. <coughs> so, looking at Reagan, he did very well. At the same time, there were areas which fall short. So, he's not all that underrated. And in some way, he's not all that overrated. He was balanced. Reagan was great in that way. 